All right, this is Pastor T. We got a Chick Fil A challenge, a ten dollar, a $10 Chick Fil A gift card. If you can name me at least five of the commandments. Look at it real good, man. That's a Chick Fil A sandwich. We we whole, spot. Whole, All right. Don't, don't try to cheat, though. Listen. I had a whole board of this. Uh, Come on, give me. Get, get, try, just start with the first one. Which, how much? What did you know? Thou shalt not lie. lie. Not you can help him out. Still, still. That's two. Thou shalt not con Kill. commit uh, adultery. That's three. Kill. Yeah, we use that one then. Nah, we ain't use we that. Use you ain't you kill? Nah, so that's many more. Four. Lie still. Adultery. Adultery. He said adultery. And, uh, I want you to be successful, man. Be. I don't know how to what say it, but it's something with your parents. What's it, what's it, what is it? Your parents. It says, one of them, I am the Lord your God. Oh, you know your God. Me. Yep. Uh, so not say God name in vain. Oh. That, that's what you I, should remember that. Didn't I use that on you the other day? Yeah. All right, all right. But before you leave, I asked y'all this before, but I want to continue what we started the other day. Let me give you the good person tip. How many lies have you told in your whole life? A lot. Billions. What do you call somebody to tell a bunch of lies? A lie. Have you ever stolen something, even if it's cheated on the chest and still an answer? Yes. Have you? That's definitely. All right. What do you call somebody to steal? Thief. Y'all know what adultery is? Uh, when you, uh, that's when you cheat on your, your significant other. Yep. Do you know how, how the Bible says we commit adultery? Do you have any idea how we break that standard? By you looking at women with um, lust. Lust. Look at him! Do you remember? Are right, you guilty or not guilty? You ever had sex out of marriage? When was the last time you looked at pornography? Nowadays, it just pop up anywhere, so. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. So probably just today, after you, when you're checking your phone, yeah. right? Yeah. You ever use guys' name as a cuss word? As a cuss word? Yeah. Uh, like, like, oh, my G-O-D, or yeah. I put the uh, O-M-G. Yeah. You know that was punishable by death in the Old Testament? Did you know that? Really? Yeah, man. Would you use your mom's name as a cuss word? No. You wouldn't? Why wouldn't you use your mom's name as a cuss word? Because it's... That's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. You know, we, you know why we use guys' name as a cuss word? Because why? Because we don't really respect so much power. Well, we don't really respect him though. Yeah. Because we respect him, we we'll reverence his name. All right. Y'all want me to stop or keep going? Keep going. Keep going. Now let me ask you this. Yeah. Now, tell me this. You know how people say mo majority of the stuff we say nowadays is because of something we heard. True. If we never heard it before. You feel me? It would have never came up in our right. Exactly. So do you feel as if since people are saying it and then they just made it? You know what I'm saying? Repeat it. So a lot of people start saying. Yeah. We, we owe for what right now? 30. <laughs> oh, for five, oh, for five, oh, for five. Yeah. So if God had to judge you tonight based on the commandments, I hope this doesn't happen, man. I hope you guys live to be 200. But if you got in your car today and had an accident, he died in the traffic, still before God tonight, do you think you'd be innocent or guilty according to his standard? Guilty, guilty, guilty. All right, heaven or hell? Heaven. I prefer heaven, but. Heaven? Heaven. Heaven? I prefer heaven. So let me just tell you what you're saying. Somebody walked into your home, took an AK-47, and gunned down your entire family. You expect the judge to do what to the murderer? So what if the judge says, you know what, I'm a forgiving judge. I'm going to let this man that walked into your home and gunned down your entire family. I'm a forgiving judge. I'm going to let him go free. What kind of judge would he be? What would you consider that judge to be if he just let that man go free? Horrible judge. But that's that's just the people's standards. I like what you said. If it was if it was another way around, like if that was the normal, yeah, no, then people it. would be like, okay, then that's normal for her to let him go if he gunning down people. But since the standard is like, oh, we can't do that, then that's how it's gonna be. All right. So here's my question: What's God's standard for sin? Like, what's the, what's the punishment for sin? I mean, you have any idea? Yeah, yeah. How did you know? How did you know that? If you got your phone real quick, I want you to look at the punishment for sin is because we don't want our standard on here. We want God's standard because eternity is a long time to be wrong. Is that right? All right. So you want to see what God's standard is because you could be surprised on the day of judgment because you think you was good. It says God has pronounced the penalty of sin, his spiritual death, and separation from God in a place of judgment called Wow. Did y'all hear what he said? So what's the punishment for sin? Uh, for separation from God. In a place called hell. So if you stood before God and he gave you what you deserve, what do you think he was going to turn Does that make sense or y'all wanted to try to defend it? But I got a question though. Like, please, what if, please. What if people like hell? What if somebody's hell is different from, what if my hell is different from his hell? And I like my hell, but his hell is giving him like yeah. bad, bad terms and stuff. You know how hell is described in the Bible based on Jesus' standard? Isn't it suffering? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But, that, yep. but aren't we living in hell right now? We Good suffer question. every day. Good question. Do you think that's enough punishment? 
before, before I see it? That's up to God to decide. Well, I'm going to tell you if it's enough to, all right, remember I gave you that standard? Somebody coming to your home, going there, your entire family? What if this man suffered six months in prison for killing your entire family? Is that enough punishment? Mm -hmm. All right, who killed Jesus? Well, it depends what happened in, in jail, what happened to him in jail. Who killed Jesus? Who's responsible for putting Jesus on the cross? Uh, Do you hear what he said? What did he say? We are. Because why did he go to the cross? To die for us. So who killed him? We did. We did. We did. We're responsible. So here's my question to you. If that's assassin that came in at your home and cut down your entire family, put his hand on your shoulders and he says, hey man, there's got to be something I can do to pay, to pay off what I did to your family. I'll buy you a new car, pay your tuition, put money in your bank account. How much good could this assassin do after gunning down your entire family do for you after you killed your family? Not enough. Not enough. You know what he deserves? Or the death penalty. Well, if you kill Jesus, if you kill God's son, what do you think God deserves to do to you? The death penalty. And, and, and punishment on earth is just not good enough. It's not, it's not enough punishment. Does that make sense? So in order for you to get into heaven, you actually have to be absolutely perfect. Let me tell you why. What's your favorite drink in the world? Lemonade. I took one drop of sewage and put it in your lemonade. Would you drink it? Sewage? No, do I know you. I, 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 you, you watch me do it. No. You wouldn't drink it. Depends how thirsty I am. <laughs> okay, depends how thirsty you are. So here's my question. You wouldn't drink it if you knew it was a drop of sewage in it, would you? No. Well, think about it. God cannot allow one of your sins into heaven without it being cleansed. Uh -huh. Because what will happen to heaven? Yeah. It'd be yeah. bad because it's like, like they say, one bad apple, you know, yeah. You hit it on the head. So God, in order for you to get into heaven, you have to be perfect. So let me tell you what God did for guilty sinners. Do you have any idea what God did for guilty sinners so you don't have to go to hell? Yeah. 